as an application of the chain rule, let's consider implicit differentiation. So in calculus, not every object of interest is going to be defined by a function. For instance, we take the unit circle, and you'll notice this is not defined by a function because it fails the vertical line test. If I draw vertical lines, it's going to hit the graph in more than two places. Now, we would like to be able to take tangent lines to this object anyway. Note, we could still talk about if you fix any point on the unit circle, tangent line totally makes sense. It's just the best fitting line to our graph. So we want to have a procedure that lets us get a handle on how we get the tangent line. And so the problem there is going to be how do you get the slope? So that's where implicit differentiation comes into play. So the idea is going to be, even though I don't have a function, if I put my graph under the microscope and it looks like a function, I can use the chain rule to get results. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. So what we're going to have is a little checklist. You're going to have a graph of some object defined by an equation of y and x. The idea then is going to be, I'm going to take the derivative on both sides with respect to x of the equality. And then whenever I take a derivative of y, we're just going to use the chain rule, meaning I'm just going to throw in a y prime or equivalently dy dx, depending on what notation you happen to be using. Once you've done that, two things are equal, their derivatives are equal. I'm just going to move terms to both sides of the equalities. On one side, I'll put all the y prime terms. On the other side, I'll put all the non-y prime terms. Then I just factor out a y prime and then divide, and that gives me an expression for y prime. Let's look at an example. So we have the unit circle, which is defined by the equation x squared plus y squared equal to 1. So let's find the tangent line to the unit circle at the point 3 fifths comma minus 4 fifths. Now in this case note, it's not enough for me to just give you x equal to 3 fifths or we'll get stuck with two possibilities for the tangent line. All right, so let's proceed. I want a tangent line, so I'll need a slope and a point, and we're given the point. So I just need the slope. That's gonna be given by y prime. So we don't have a function of x here, so we're gonna use our implicit differentiation procedure to get y prime. So what do I do? Well, my equation's gonna be x squared plus y squared is equal to one. If I have two things equal to each other, if I take the derivative of each thing with respect to x, the equality is still going to hold. So we take our derivative with respect to x. On the left side, what's going to happen? x squared is going to go to 2x. We take the derivative of y squared. We need to apply the chain rule. Here, we treat y as a function of x. So what happens? I cover up the y. The 2 comes down. We subtract 1 off of it. I put the y back in, and then I have to multiply by y prime. So we're going to get 2y y prime for the derivative of y squared. On the other side, I have a 1. I take the derivative of that with respect to x, and that's going to give me 0. So our equation is 2x plus 2y y prime equals 0. I want to put the y prime and non-y prime stuff on other sides of the equality. So I'll just push the 2x to the other side as a minus 2x. And now what do I do? I factor out the y prime. Nothing to really factor here, so all I'll do is divide by 2y, and then I get my answer, y prime equals minus x over y. Note, our answer here is going to depend on both x and y, so that's why we're going to have to be given the x and y for our point. Okay, now we want our tangent line, so i got to put actual numbers into this thing to get our slope, so we're going to have. Okay, well, our point's going to be 3 fifths comma minus 4 fifths. I put that into our y prime, so it's minus x over y. And then you'll notice we're going to wind up with 3 fourths. Does this make sense? Well, if we look at the point on the unit circle, if I'm at 3 fifths comma minus 4 fifths, that's going to be the slope of my tangent line there. And that's positive, and it seems like it's in the ballpark. So that's probably going to be a correct slope. Now, equation of a line y minus y zero equals slope, x minus x zero. So now I can just put the numbers in and we'll have y minus minus four fifths equals three fourths, x minus three fifths 
for our tangent line. We can follow up the problem with approximate the point on the graph given by using the tangent line and we'll say we'll take our x to be 0.61. So the x that we were using before to get this tangent line is going to be 0.6. So let's see what happens if we try to approximate the y value on the graph for this x and with that tangent line. All right, what happens? I put 0.61 into my equation for the tangent line. What comes out is going to be minus 0.7925. Now, if we want the actual value, what do we need to do? Well, if you notice, I can solve for y here. And since I'm staying below the graph, okay, we're only looking at this tangent line in this area here. So I can forget about the whole top part. I can just solve for y and see what's going to come out for the bottom half. So when I do that, we're going to have y equals minus square root of 1 minus x squared. I can put the 0.61 into there. And then what comes out is going to be minus 0.7924. So we see that using the tangent line here gets us very close to our actual answer.